Hi everyone, this is Edo from Framer. Today I'll show you how to create flexible CMS layouts thanks to a new variable, like having the first card span two rows in a grid for a more modern look or having it span two columns instead. You'll also learn how to change component variants based on item position, which also unlocks the possibility to alternate left and right cards or switching between field and non-field backgrounds. Lastly, we'll cover details like showing dividers exclusively between items. I've also added a remix link in the video description so you can dive into this project yourself. But now, let's get started. Here, I have a simple grid with content coming from the CMS. And if I select the first item, you'll see I have a columns and rows property. By the way, if you don't see the rows property, make sure that when you have the grid selected and you go into the advanced layout options, you have the height of the item set to fixed. If that's the case, when you select the item, you should be able to see this rows property. And now I'm going to simply click the plus set variable and see there is this new property called index. And then I'm going to select equals. And now when the index equals, I'm going to set one, I'm going to have a span two. And as simple as that, you see that this item is now spanning two rows. Now to show you how flexible this is, I'm going to change the value of the index to something else like two, three, four, etc. And this essentially tells which position has to update its card. Super powerful. Now, let me show you another example. If I go over here in the second page I prepared, there is another grid and this time I want the first item to span two columns instead of rows. Now, if I go over here, I see the columns property, I hit plus and just as before, I do set variable index and then equals, bring it to one and then say span to when yes. And just like that, you see that the first card is the one to be featured, but you can also make it the second, the third and so on. Now, let me show you another example. With this example, I want to show you how powerful the index variable is in combination with component variants. Here, I have a component on top of the list with a default variant and a feature one. And I want to use this feature variant for the first article in the list so that when there is a new one, it has this featured look. I can go here and with the first item selected, then I go to the variant property, hit the plus, set variable and go to our index variable. Here I want to set equals again and then set one. And when yes, I'm going to choose the feature variant. And just as easy as that, you see that the first item is going to be featured with his own card. And again, I can decide to feature other positions in the list as well if I want. Now, I'm going to show you another example and this one is particularly interesting because it unlocks an entirely new type of layout that was not possible before. Here I have the first item as a component again. So I have the primary variant which has the image on the left and the right variant which is an image on the right. Now, if I go back I can go to the variant property and hit plus, set variable, index, and this time I'm going to select is odd. Now, this means that when the variable index is odd, there is a conversion that is going to happen. And when yes, I'm going to leave the left variant. And when no, I'm going to set the right variant. And you'll see that there is this very nice alternating layout, which is very useful for things like featured sections of your site. And I'm going to use the same technique for this other example in which I want the item background to be filled or not filled, depending whether their position is even or odd in the list. I'm going to do that by setting the index variable and then again is odd. And then when yes, filled, when no, not filled, then you see a really nice effect immediately applied. Lastly, a nice little detail about dividers that you can now fully control when to show and when to hide. Here I have two variants, one with a divider and one without. 
And in the list, if I select the first item and I add an index variable like before and then set it to equals one, I can pick no divider exclusively for the first item so that it is only shown in between items. And this is about it for the index variable. This update brings a lot of other improvements to the CMS that you can check in the updates page. And I also remind you, you can remix this file I just showed you so you can dive in yourself. I'll see you next time and happy building.